I just came back from walking my dog. And we came up these rocks down here and there was about a six foot snake sitting out here. Man, it was sprawled out over here. My battery was out on my GoPro, so I had to find my other battery. Where'd that thing go? Are you kidding me. Wow, it was a giant. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. It might have actually been longer than that. He must have went up those railroad ties. In those railroad ties. Is this, there it is right there. Look at that. Look how big that thing is. Look at that. Can you see that? Look at that thing. <laughs> I must I think we spooked it on the way in. I'm gonna put my finger down there for size. Well that's not really showing it. It's kind of an optical illusion. He's in there moving though. I think we scared him and he took off. He must have knew where he was going. But that's a big dude though. That's I, I can't really show the size that well because he's a couple inches inside that hole. He's moving around in there pretty good though. <laughs> Just keeps going and going and going. Where it stops, no one knows. There must be a big space under there because that's a six or seven foot snake. And he is moving somewhere. <laughs> I wish that sun would shine through the trees and get a better shot of that. I think we're getting to his tail now. Boy, there must be a big old, big old space in there. There, I think that's the end of it. I think that's his caboose. I mean, if I touch him, <laughs> he didn't like that. Anyways, that was a six to seven foot snake, and there must be a giant, giant hole underneath this slab of cement, because there's not room for him inside that railroad tie. He knew where he was going. I had to fumble around finding my extra battery. It was in a drawer. But uh, we came in from our walk this way. We we're coming up this way, and I was looking down because I always see my footing right here on these rocks. I looked up right here, and this sucker, I mean, his tail was way back here, and he was all curled up, and he was like kind of laying up on these warm rocks, and the dog didn't even see it. <laughs> she went that way, and I was worried she was going to get hit, struck. She put her nose about three inches in front of the snake's face. But the snake was docile. It didn't do nothing. It was more scared. But uh, which railroad tie did I go in there? I went in this railroad tie here. There must be a way into it. I, th I think that snake knew exactly where it was going. It had to go in there. Probably went in there. Not really way in that railroad tie going that way. Had to go up in that way. That's the only way. Oh, I probably went down here actually. I got in this way. Anyways, shoot, that would have made a great video. At least we got a look at him. Happened to be a hole in the railroad tie. That's pretty cool. I pulled up some information on this guy for you. It's the black rat snake, also known simply as the black snake. And I'm going to pull up an article after this that actually calls these guys man's best friend because they eat rats and mice and stuff. Let's see what it says. Description, black rat snakes are large, non-venomous snakes between three and a half and seven feet long. 
that's one and two meters long. Um, I actually think I underestimated this just simply because I couldn't believe my eyes. I think this guy was may have been longer than seven feet, but it, it was definitely seven feet. I mean, I, I just couldn't believe what I was looking at. <laughs> they have shiny black scales on their back and a light colored belly and their throat and chin are white. The head of a black rat snake is wider than the neck and the rest of the body. So these guys are pretty obvious when you see them. It would be pretty obvious what you're dealing with. And they're actually quite friendly, and you, there's no reason to worry about these guys. I know a lot of people will kill snakes just because they're snakes, but this guy is actually something you want around your house. Let's see what the range is here. Uh, black rat snakes live in fields, woodlands, farmlands, and around suburban communities from Connecticut to South Carolina and west to the middle of Kansas and Oklahoma. Predators include hawks and other snakes. I can't imagine there's a snake around here that's going to give this guy any trouble. Uh, maybe rattlesnakes or something, I suppose. Maybe a venomous snake, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to see the snake around here. It's going to eat this guy. Okay, let me show you this other article that says, uh, there's one about around your home and garden. You actually want these things around. Don't be scared of these guys. Um, let's see, where was that article? Well, it was actually another YouTube video, The Black Snake, uh, Man's Best Friend. I'll link this video from another channel down in the description if you want to check it out. Uh, if you're really interested, there's other videos on YouTube about Black Snake. Check them out. I was thinking that was the article headline I saw. Let's look at uh, what Wikipedia says about them. Anthropus obsoletus, also known as the Western Rat Snake, Black Rat Snake, Pilot Black Snake, or simply Black Snake. Color variations include the Texas rat snake. It says they live in variety of habitats. Excellent climbers. <laughs> I, I think this is the one several years ago that was up on my, by my apartment door. It climbed up my stairs. I'm pretty sure this was probably the guy. I opened my door. He was sitting out on my second story. And uh, came back inside. And just a short time later, I looked back outside and it was gone. So, yeah, I definitely believe that. Outstanding climbers. Oh, they actually spend time in trees. That's interesting. That's range from rocky hillside to flat farmland. And to see this guy on a rocky hillside, so that's true. Prefers heavily wooded areas. Uh, known for having excellent climbing ability, including the ability to climb the trunk of large trees without the aid of branches. Wow, I definitely believe that. I, I couldn't understand how I got up the stairs. Now I know. Competent swimmer. You might find them in water, I guess. Uh, during the winter, it hibernates in dens. I think I know where its dens at. Uh, it's probably just in these apartments, this apartment complex. That thing is probably down there just just living off of rats and, and uh, mice and chip probably. But... Uh, now I think I might understand why I've only seen one mouse in the six years I've lived here. I've always thought that was kind of strange. And now I think I know why. I've got a monster living outside my front door. Uh, wow, it says it hibernates with copperheads and timber rattlesnakes. Well, never mind about the rattlesnakes being a predator to it then. That's interesting. Huh. This association with rattlesnakes and copperheads gave rise to one of its common names, pilot black snake, and the superstition that this non venomous species led the venomous ones to the den. That's interesting. Hangs out with rattlesnakes. Well, this black snake sounds like quite the guy. Anyways, if you want to check out that video, other video on YouTube titled The Black Snake, Man's Best Friend. Check out a link in the description below to check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.